Sacred Heart Church in McAllen. A crisis brings out the best or the worst in people. It's ground zero for undocumented immigrants being released by Border Patrol. They're coming in hope for something better for themselves and for their children. The Relief Center helps thousands of women and children who cross illegally. Dozens of donations poured in. And we are seeing the best in people right now. We are seeing people from all the community either give of their time as volunteers or share whatever the need is. Everything from clothing, baby food, and even a simple pair of socks topped the list. The Valley stepped up in a time of need. Lorena made the journey from Honduras with her daughter. They traveled almost 1,500 miles to our border and crossed the river on a raft. Mucho miedo porque esos hombres, los que los cruzaron, andaban ebrios, fumando marihuana. She is one of many illegals who left her country searching for a better life. No hay seguridad lo mismo. Si ves las noticias en Honduras todos los días, muertos, muertos, muertos en San Pedro, en Progreso, en Tegucigalpa. The relief efforts put on by Catholic Charities prompted Rio Grande Valley Border Patrol Sector Chief Kevin Oaks to send this letter in late July thanking the community for their outreach during the humanitarian crisis. This type of humanitarian uh, assistance is only possible with the collaboration of all these different organizations working collaboratively. And I think that is the beautiful aspect of what we're seeing here today in this humanitarian outreach. For now, Catholic Charities will continue to lend a helping hand to those crossing the border in search of the American dream.